All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. I am your host, Ace Barrett King. This is our friend Shanks Riota. I figured out that if I don't put my glasses on, my uh, my little dude will stop randomly winking. So that's great, even though I'm blind. Anywho, um, let's get out a new minion. It's parts again. You know, I have more minions than this. See, I have all of these ones. But it just keeps wanting to do Barge and the Twins. Come on. Get out of here. I'm bring out the the, the the first and original waifu. My Tifa. Okay, anywho, I changed my mind. Um, we are going to pick up Rogue. I'm going to stick to the theme. Uh, you guys can see uh, see Reaper action when um, when little Nyaz takes out is, uh, is, is the one we're playing with. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's become a rogue. There's not behind these co convent doors for, uh, wordly, wordly, <sighs> you see, this is because, it's because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read. It's all that, it's, that's the problem. There's not behind these convent doors for a worldly type like Yugov, where the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss, all pure and saintly like, now bugger off. Yes, it's very pure and saintly. Is my microphone, like, turned on? Wow, I really hope that you guys heard that intro and stuff. Uh, one second. All right, we're good. Okay, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, bugger off. Hang about. I thought you were just some simple errand lad, but now I've had a proper look. You're Shanks, ain't you? Uh, yeah. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. We like to snilch all the rising talent, and from what I hear, you're head and shoulders above the rest. Thanks. If you can handle yourself half as well as they say, you might well be of use to us. Ah, uh, forget all that Sisters of the Edelweiss bollocks. So look, that Alraz over there, he looks cool. Uh, that's just a bit of fun to fall off the curious coals. We're a guild of rogues, mate, and it's mainly our Marxists just to pray it. Cool. Uh, me and mine work in the shadows of limbs, have taken a keen edge to the rooks and cacklers would have earned themselves a millen. We don't tout for members, but every now and again we might offer a promising young cove a place in the ranks. If you've an interest in joining us, tip us your daddles and we'll put a hilt in each one, just like the gods intended. So what do you say? Fancy learning a new trade? Sure. Good to see you're keen, but I should probably warn you on a few points before you dive in. Where most skills take pride in turning their members into the best bloody candlestick makers they can be, we only care about getting the job done. And the job ain't pretty. You become one of us and you'll soon be neck deep in scum and knife fights. Sounds like fun. So if you're looking to scamper across ro rooftops and bilk dandies of their blunt, you'd best take up with a different crew. Think on that and you um, and come back if you're still keen. Okay, I can't see. I'm blind. Ah, okay. Yeah, all right. I didn't scare you off then, Benny. They told me you, uh, he, they told me it was a meddlesome cove and so it's proved. Yo, bless you. One of my keys needs. You'll need every ounce of that metal soon enough. Now step inside and have a pedal with Yaka. He's our upright man, the master of the guild. Hi. Let me in. Alrighty. Okay. Anywho. Oh, here's that cool looking aura. Necromonger. Nice. Hmm. Look at this. I mean, I should be. Yeah, I saw his, uh, his character just looks really cool. Uh, anyway, let's stop being a creep. Um, hey, what's up, Yaka? I came to join the Rogue's Guild. I am the one to call Yaka, though I'm surprised you've heard of me. Perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me your name, along with that of the kindly cove who's told you mine. I'm Shanks, and Lawnward told me to talk to you. Ah, the famous Shanks. Old Lonnie left Fashla Chien, did he? Hmm. He can't throw a blade for shite, but that one I don't miss not when it comes to sizing up a dimmer cult for the Stalin. Just one thing, ain't a pirate, are you? I wish. I'd love to be a pirate. Are you a pirate? Can I be a pirate? Well then, it's time you installed it to the rogue. Put the uh, on your best beater cases and I'll swear you in myself when you're ready. Now, I could fill your bottles with the storied history of our guild, but that's just woods and wind. The most important thing, the only thing, we care about is getting the job done. Okay. 
Now, most folk, and I'm assuming you're among them, know that not long after Limbs was found, and the city was overrun by a motley collection of pirates and thieves. Sounds like fun. But as wild as that lot were, it soon became clear that they'd all end up killing each other if they didn't lay down a few rules. An unspoken code of conduct, as it were. Uh, one, you don't bite the purses of your fellow Lamentsons. Two, you don't look a crew out of their spoils. And three, you don't trade coals like there was chattel. Uh, I'll admit the finer po points of the code are a mite murky, but most agree on those three at least. Uh, fair enough. Now, you might be thinking none of that amounts to a cycle of dillbilly, dillberries now the Admiral's outlawed piracy, but in the back alleys and black markets where Melvib's grip is ain't so tight, the code's still alive and well. I forgot to get my helmet out of the... I'll have to go and do that. And just as the law is enforced by the Yellow Jackets, the code is regulated by us rogues. We go where the shadows are darkest and hand out justice to them as break the code. Some rum-soaked cove steals goods for the wrong call and we steal them back. That's the job, my natty lad. Cool. Uh, of course, we don't hop the twig when blade work's called for neither. Uh, you'll see there's more to our dagger play than just sticking coals with a pointy end. We weaken a mark with poison, fade away and strike in the dark men's, whatever it takes to get the, do the work done. You know, they say that, but when they changed the class for, uh, for Endwalker, they took away the dot, which sucks. How can you be a rogue and not have a dot? Uh, well, Shanks, what do you say then? Got the guts to do a rogue's job? Hell yeah! Alright then, first off, we know, we'll know we have to get your kit sorted out. A rogue needs to be light on his uh, dew beaters to stay on a mark's trail. The job might have you fighting across a deck or even through a mob, and the last thing you want is a bleeding great battle axe what hooks itself on every rope and post. I like my battle axe. That's why we stick to daggers. They let you slip through the streets just as easily as they slip through a rook's ri ribs. Here, take these stabbers and let's see how they look on you. Just don't get so excited with your new toys that you forget to dress for the role. You'd be surprised how many cults come back to me in their bloody small clothes. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll get dressed. Um, well, since I'm cutting to fiddle with the hot bar anyway, I'm gonna go grab my helmet and then be right back. One second. Okay, I'm back. And now I've got three knives. One and two. And three. Ain't that fancy. Alright, Yakka, what you got for me, man? Uh, managed to get a strap with those daggers on without cutting yourself? Well, we're off to a good start, I'd say. Why did you put a knife in this? You know what, I don't care. Next, you'll want to get a feel of the weight and speed of your new weapons. I reckon those weeding cheats in the fields outside of Limsa should serve for your first lesson. I test your blades on a few of them lamps and slice up some rats, rats and bugles for good measure. Mind that you mill and beasties one at a time, though, lad. I know you've served far worse in the past, but you're no dimmer dammer with them stabbers just yet. Okay. Let's go. Um. So, uh, this episode is going to be the first three, uh, the, this one and then five and ten job quests for Rogue and I'm just gonna put them all in one episode. I'm probably not gonna record them all in one sitting though because uh, I have to work tonight. Um. But like all the grinding between, I'm just not gonna, even gonna include. Oh, I need it. My glasses, sorry, I forgot. I put my glasses down so I could see while I was doing stuff off screen and that forgot that they were off. But anyway, like I was saying, um, let me eat something with the experience boost. Thank you. Anyhow, um, yeah, because I always say every episode, oh, I want to get developed, oh, but this will probably be a little longer, It'll probably be a little shorter. I, I think we guys should just, let's just, let's just give up on keeping to a time and then I'll just record until I feel like I've I've uh, done, accomplished something or gotten to a good stopping spot and then I'm done. And if it's 20 minutes, it's 20 minutes. If it's an hour and a half, it's an hour and a half. We will live. We.
So, uh, you know. I mean, like, because usually when I'm watching, like, um, Let's Plays and stuff, I just have it on on the... Ooh, am I going to be able to, like, do it? Ooh, I can. We're going to get some extra... Exp oh. Wait, I'll just kill one regular Pugil, and then that'll bunt me up to four, and then I'll do the fate. So I'll... I'll def I should almost certainly be at five. Cool. All right. Yeah. There we go. Got what I was trying to talk about. Something to do with them. Um... Something to do with time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so when I'm watching Let's Plays and stuff, I usually just have them on in the background while I'm doing something else, usually playing this game. Um, it, I don't really treat them as something that really takes your full attention, and uh, so mine also, I don't expect to be taking your full, you to be like giving them your full attention. I mean, it's nice if you are, but you don't need to. So I figure, no, well, there we go. That's what I wanted. Um, just get it to uh, so so like uh, it, it can be random at lengths because you know I, I imagine that anybody watching this is not, it's just kind of using it for background noise. And probably doesn't care so much about the length. Well, if it's too long, you can always pause and come back to it later. And if it's too short, you can always just watch the next episode on the playlist, which... And if, uh... There is no next episode in the playlist, you can go back and rewatch the older episodes. You know, all that fun stuff. Alrighty. Love to multitask. Okay, let's go talk to Yakka. Now, so there was a... My sister and I had a debate for a long time over whether or not his name was pronounced Jack or Jake because, I mean, it looks like Jack, but there's an E at the end. And the E you'd think would make the A long, which would make it Jake. And, uh, but eventually I looked it up and it turns out it is a German name and it is pronounced Jacka. I imagine that they wanted it to be a reference to Jack Sparrow, but figured that Jack was too modern for the setting. So they added the E at the end just to kind of fantasy it up. Um, so they probably didn't intend for it to be Yakka, but that is what it is, is the, it, his name is Yakka. <laughs> Which is a name that I enjoy because it kind of sounds like Yakko, like the Animaniac. So, you know. Get up at six. Oh, I can I can do the level five before a bit. I'll just do my grinding and then level ten tomorrow after work. Or you know maybe not even necessarily tomorrow. I have uh, I already have them scheduled for like a week in advance because as I am recording this, it is the day that episode three drops, but it has not dropped yet, and I have up to episode seven queued. So. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm good if I want to take a day or two before I, I do some grinding. Ah, right, yeah, I killed the things. You done with the, done with any of your milling, are you? You can never have enough blade practice, me young colt. In fact, I'll even add a list of marks to your hunting lot. We already did. Pit yourself against the lock lot and you'll soon learn some new steps for your dance with the daggers. How fun. Ah, you must think of yourself as a dancer, not a bleeding butcher. You only need so much force to ram a short blade into the hilt. Precision and speed, that's how you get the most out of your stabbers. Bulky armor will only have you plodding about like an ungainly aurochs. So make sure you're wearing gear what'll let you move freely as well. Okay, alright. Get your blade work up to scratch, Shanks, and I might and I might just have a job for you. Okay. 
Cool. Let me give me some. Uh, thank you. Oh, all right. Oh, there, Shanks. I must say, you're looking comfortable enough with those stabbers of yours. Thank you. And I reckon you're good and ready for your first assignment. I guess. Ordinarily, I'd stow me rids and let you get on with your work, but seeing as we only just dragged you into the shadows, there might be a couple of things what you ain't familiar with. Let's build on what you likely do know, and that's the fact that the Admiral, God's bless her soul, has outlawed piracy in Limsa Lamensa. So why do you think there's still so much sodden pirates in this town? I'll tell you why. It's because there's uh, still one way for him to loot and pillage without incurring the wrath of the law. All you need to do is apply to serve the Thalassocracy as a certified privateer. A captain with a privateer's license is free to terrorize the sea till the Algoats come home, so long as he only targets vessels what belong to the Garlean Empire. I wonder how that's... Of course, considering how bloody vast the Empire is, there's plenty of loot to go around. Crews fill their holes with Imperial plunder, then head back here to Lemsa to offload the spoils, and that's where this particular case went sour. See, this one clue, crew got their frambles on a Magitech device, a firing mechanism to be precise, but it was uh, worked out of their hall by some heavy-handed coves. If, you, if you'll recall, that don't sit well with the code. If uh, you're bold enough to rook a pirate out of his due, you'd best be prepared for a visit from the rogues. Okay. Ah, oh, we can visit in rogues. Underfoot, over here, lad. Okay. I want the pair of you working together on this. Pass sentence on them, code dividing rooks, and bite back, back that Magitech park. Part. Hey, what's the gold need me for? You're in charge of the new recruits, aren't you? Or ain't you? It's Shanks' first assignment. You're to go along and give him the benefit of your wisdom. And since was uh, since when was I in charge of new? Ah, oh, bugger it. Er, so I guess we'd be partners for the now. The name's Paramu Haramu, but most fellows call me Underfoot. You might seem a touch reluctant, but Paramu's one of our best. You just do as he says and you'll get the job done. Okay. Hmm, and Lala fell looks annoyed. Cammy's in the doorway. What are you doing, Cammy? Okay. What do you want? Alright then, me young rogue. Seeing as this is a your first official outing, I want you to to be sure your dance steps are up, up to the task. With them short blades, you need to get in good you need to get in good and close to your mark, eh? But we ain't bleeding swats and shining armor, and the lighter kit we wear ain't much protection from the click to the gun. A click to the gun, I don't know what a gun is. So if you don't fancy spitting blood and teeth, your best defense is simply not being there when your mark rides up to a nasty clout. Sliding round or flank usually does the trick, but there's some rum fun of the rogue and master. The shade shift, yes, I, I've already used that. Clear your mind and trust in your speed, and you can leave an axe-wielding brute or your spell-flinging mage chasing your shadow while you bury your stabbers in his guts. How fun. Right, now it's time you put this lesson into practice against some of those Ar Aurelia out in Lower, Lo Lower Lenosha. I hope you're paying attention, lad, because those tentacles can pack a wallop. Enjoy! Alright, see ya. Oh look, another bunny boy. Oh look, he followed me outside. I'm getting a little creeped out. I have a bunny boy stalker. <gasps> Diva. I love you. Okay, anyway. Alrighty, let's head on. This will come on. Thank you. Go kill more Aureliers. And gather some Aurelia umbrellas. Ha 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 ha. They didn't ask for those though this time though. It's a shame. Here we are. So I don't. I might not have to do as much grinding as you might think, because the next MSQ quest, the one that I'm waiting on, is only at level ten, and both of my others are above that already. So, um, yeah, they're at uh, thirteen and twelve. 
And I'm already at level 6, and I'm currently doing the level 5 quest, so... I mean, um, I did one out of my rested experience. But, uh... Like I said, I'll probably go to bed right after recording this, um, this bit. And then before I do my grinding, I will have more rested experience, so... I probably will just have to do a little bit of hunting long. Probably won't even have to finish the first, uh... first chunk of it. So, you know. Thank you. Hooray. That ought to be fun. faster. I mean, I would just cut here, but I don't want to do another cut. I just did a cut. Cat girl! Not, not you. The player I just ran past. Okay, here we go. Whee! And it's not that far, so likely if I had cut, then the time it takes for me to pause the recording and then set it up again would not have actually saved me that much time. Granted, now it's a... Oh, here we go. I was going to say now it's taking forever to load, but then it loaded. Oh, let's look at the display now that it's daytime. Oh, it's very fancy. Alright. You mean you can't skip from this location? I was right in front of it. Darn it to practice then? Heh <laughs> the thing is them tentacled buggers will soon be teach you to stay on your toes, eh? Uh, hey. Uh, whatever. Ahem, we've got your blood rush. Now we've got your blood rush, and I'd say it's time to get down to work. First things first, we need to track down the maddled coves what worked that Magitech gadget. Might be as one of our rogues has heard something. The guild thrives on information, you see. Enemy agents scatter scattered far and wide with their glazes keen and their waddles to the ground. Let's, uh... Pay us a visit to a toll on at the John and Wench. Ask her for a week ale and see what it, that gets you. I'm not sending you up for a laugh, lad. Trust me. I don't want to trust you, but I guess I will. Meow. There you go. Sleepy. The 
this uh, quest itself I don't remember being particularly long or difficult, but there's a cutscene at the end that's going to have a lot of talking. Uh, whatever. This is, the, this is the choice that I made and I'm going to stick by it. Right, Tifa? Tifa says that's right. There you are. Where's the guy? There she is. Hi. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. What's your pleasure, sir? I, uh, I would like for you to stop watching, please. Thank you. I want a weak ale. Never in all my days. You may serve some cheap grog in the wrench, but none not that was watered down. If a usual ale is too bold for your taste, could perhaps you'd like to order from the underground menu? I'm surprised for some reason. I there's quite a lot on offer for a customer with your roguish charms. Was there something in particular I could help you with? Yeah, and you know my magic advice. Ah, the trouble over the Magistead loot. That was not a civil job. The gang in question is an unusual group of former pirates calling themselves the Dandy Demolishers. They seem to be enamored of court dandy mannerisms and have a prefer preference for seizing Garlean machinery. They're also known for conspiring with goblins. Rumors say that the Demolishers that visit a beastman camp in the middle of Nosha to fence their goods. And those goods generally take the form of Imperial technology. I imagine the goblins were rather pleased to take position, possession of a mark something anti-aircraft cannon firing. I'm sorry, I didn't. We, we only went up to, tw to 10 in, in Roman numerals in school, so I can't, I don't know what that says. I think it's 50, I don't know. Um, if you mean to steal the device back, then your trail leads to the goblin camp in Summerford. Okay. Summerford, eh? I'm on your way, lad. Meet me across the river from the camp and we'll plan our next move. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye, pretty lady. Um, this way. Do Summerford. I think it might be quicker. Should I just port to the farm? How much would that cost? Oh, uh, yeah, let's just teleport. Whee! like a glowy effect around the letters of the font of this loading screen or is that my astigmatism? I think that's supposed to be there. Since it gives it a bit of depth. Does it look like it's coming at ya? Alrighty. That looks like it's exactly halfway between the two places so I saved Maybe three seconds off my time. Isn't that fun? Let's run faster. We. Alright, and then this way. Oh, look! Huzzah! Huzzah et ra! I wonder how long after Vera dropped in this game, um, every server, and every world on every server had a character named Bugs Bunny. I'm sure it was minutes that people were sitting on the name. No! My sprint hasn't cooled down yet. How dare it. Wee. Here we Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Alright. What you doing? Hey, Power Moo! Why are you sneaking? You're knocking down shakes. I've been snilching the action across the way there. 
No sign of the demolishers, but I did see me at one of them gambler coves stuffing the garlic gadget into his backpack. I knew a toll one would still steer us all right. This is your chance, lad. Clout that gambler, gambler gobby and grab all that device. Er, I've lost track of which gob it was, but I'm thinking it's that side on the left. Just make sure you dance away from any bomb blasts. Twisting and dodging in the middle of a fireball might not save you from getting your eyebrows singed off. Okay. Ooh, a fissure. You don't have my magic tech device, but you are on my hunting log, so I'm afraid you have to die. If you have any complaints, take them up with Yaka. Alright. You're on the left. Could you have not? Thank you. Oh, it's number 43. Gotcha. I was he wasn't too far. I guess 53. Alright. Eh, got your thingy. That's the way, lad. There was not for me to do but to sit on me daddles and watch. Uh, so you got the goods get then? I guess it's right here. At least I assume I'm like, I don't know one magic tech park for, part from another. Hi, this is the device and no mistaken. Take your word for it. Uh, let's get back to the guild, eh? We still owe them demolisher bastards a millin, but they'll keep for the now. Here, you should be the one to deliver the prize to Yaka. It was your hand that snatched it out of the goblin's paws, after all. Okay. Bye. Captain, Captain, I say, some fiend has perpetuated violence upon our goblin colleagues whilst we sought but to swell wet our throats with fine libations. This will not stand, Captain. Our finely fetched loot has been pilfered from under our noses. Blast and bother, my blood boils and bubbles at the temerity of this affront. I know not the identity of these audacious buffoons, but they should be made to pay and pay dearly with me, my fine fellows. Huzzah! Hey, the bad guys were um, over there. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. Um. No, not yet. I'm gonna eat one before I go into the rogue skill, though, just in case this uh, cutscene takes longer than five minutes. Oh, yeah. Ah! I wanted to do the cool thing where I would like duck my head and my glasses would like fall right in front of my eyes but instead they fell under my desk. Uh, I'll spare you cuts at uh, the uh, loading screen and just walk. Um, yeah, it's this way. Run! Whee! Wish I could jump from here. No, oh, just let me jump! Gee, I hope I didn't go the wrong way. That would suck. Oh, no. No, no, no. I see you. It's right there. Alrighty. Nope. I gotta go around for some reason. Okay. Alright. Hey, I got the thing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's people coming. Oh, well, you don't care. There we go. Okay. Hey, uh, you managed to grab all that firing mechanism yet, Shanks? Yeah, it's right here. Allegedly. Again, I, I don't know shit about Magitech. And I don't know why you would expect me to. Is there a cat behind my monitor? I still in one piece too. Hooray! 
You've done well for your first assignment, lad. It don't look like much, but that crew put their lives on, lives on the line to clear you this here bauble. They'll be pleased to see it snatched from back from the Ruckmans. I don't know who you are, and I'm not going to befriend you. You've yet to do for the dainty demolishers, Yakka. The job ain't over. You're right, Underfoot. It ain't. You break the code, you face the consequences. Oh ho, this is not at all what I expected from the inside of a convent. Oh, I forgot to do the, the poncy voice. And who might you be, Serge? Ho 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 ho, your ignorance is understandable. After all, our schemes are always perfect. Our heist is impeccable. Shall I reveal our infamous name and drink in your delicious terror? We are deadly, dastardly, and dictionally devilish. Quail before the dainty demolishers. Hurrah! Please don't hump the camera. Eh. Captain, Captain, I say, there's the cat who misappropriated our merchandise. I concur, he's the selfsame simpleton whom we trailed and noticed to this very establishment. Ho 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 ho, surprise, surprise. Now, now, my dear dandies, let's not be unpleasant. We should endeavor to resolve this distastefulness without resorting to unsought or otherless diplomatic methods. At least not yet. You there, yes, the clean-cheeked errand boy. Be a good fellow and fetch me your superior. One of your colleagues has committed a terrible crime against us, and we shall not be leaving until the proper restitution has been paid. Oh ho, an errand boy now. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, Yakka. I was just giving you a dainty voice. <sighs> sorry. Don't laugh at your boss. It's bad news. Tell me, Captain, just what kind of place is it do you think this is, then? Hmm, this place? Well, I suppose it is a man of convent, because apparently I am blind and stupid. The one-eyed Norman named it the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss or some such. I mean, all these people uh, playing with daggers and dressed like pirates. It's like, that's probably fine. And you've yet to realize your mistake. Your fate, wa your fate was sealed the moment you dragged your sorry quarry across the threshold. Are you threatening me, boy? I'll have my fellows cut out that impudent tongue. We've exhausted our reserves of dainty today, lads. Show these foil and sisters how the demolishers deal with upstarts. You still don't understand, do you? <gasps> Pretty lady. There were three sorts of calls with the doorman I'll let pass. Clients, recruits. God, spit. I'll kill you all! Ah, ah. Didn't your mom teach you not to interrupt a lady when she's talking? You'd have learned that the third set of call is bollocks for brain is a bollocks for brains mark what marches himself right into the rogue's den. Shiny belly button. Rogues, but we were so careful! I mean, look at them, they're obviously rogues. I mean, who else would dress like that? I'd heard tales of my pirate days, stories about the merciless race who have old code. They weren't called rogues back then, though. The upright thieves they were, the knives in the shadows. I don't know what's going on. Y you can't be them. You were just trying to scare me. Well, the captain of the dainty demolishers is not so easily cowed. To the hells with your deceptions! Huzzah! Huzzah for my fallen comrades! Bam! And he's dead. Deceptions? Aye, anyone you meet could be a rogue captain, even a clean-cheeked errand boy. He's still breathing. Find some rope and string up someplace in town. Hmm, well that was fun. 
And now the job's done. Quite the introduction you had there, eh? Yeah, how much do I get paid? <laughs> Welcome to the Limps of Laments' Ever Turn and Underbelly, where the thieves shed their skins and become rogues. Cool. I don't know what the difference is supposed to be, but okay. Anyway, my payment, my money. I, I did a job, I get paid. Uh, I'm not much for discussing the old days, but since it's come up, I might as well clear up the confusion. It was back when piracy was at its peak. The codes that protected the code were dimmer dammers, the best lads and lasses to be had from among the pirate crews. They bit back the goods what was wrongly bitten and came for the guilty under the cover of darkness. Upright thief became the title for these coves with dealt in sanctioned steel and a millen. Fun. But it was only those that had cut all ties with the buccaneers' life what was accepted into the ranks. Conflict and loyalties and all that. Oh, okay. They formed their own guild and even their own way of speaking, and that was what and what was once pirates was pirates no more. Later on, when Merlvib took the Admiral's chair, the upright thieves agreed to abide by her laws. We became the Rogues Guild to mark the change and altered our recruiting policy to accept ventures like yourself. But though the title is different, the job remains the same. Uphold the code and preserve the underground society what spawned us. Okay. Just as you're done with this assignment. Good keep up the good work, Shanks, and we'll, you'll go far in the shadows. Cool. Uh, no money? Well, I guess if I take that, it'll be money, but I want the shirt. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, so. That's gonna... I'm gonna be back once I'm at level 10. So, um... It'll be a different day for you, but the same ep... I mean, the different day for me, but the same episode for you. So I guess I'll see you in half a second. Quick cut, and I'm back and dressed in different clothing. That did actually did not take long at all. I think I just killed like a few things on my hunting log and did one fate and laughed at the the brave and the bold yellow jackets getting killed by my intrigoras. And now I'm at ten. All right, Yakko, what's up? Fine morning to you, Shanks. And a fine morning it is for a spot of work, wouldn't you agree? I guess, if I'm getting paid. Uh, this time around, it seems some eager buccaneers scampered aboard a local merchant ma man and made up with a shipment of muskets. Now seeing as it ain't lawful to collect from a Lamentson vessel to begin with, the yellow jackets fell upon them daft coves before their boots was even dry. Aye, they caught the pirates right there on the docks, but the stolen boomsticks was nowhere to be found. Sorry, fenced in a longboat deal, I'm thinking. That's when our guild was officially contracted to retrieve the goods, which weren't really needful since the code would have had us on the job anyway. You don't bite the purses of your fellow Lamentsons and all that. Sorry, right, so this is your assignment, me naughty lad. Find out where them weapons went and bite that shipment back. Okay. Seeing as the cutters has hit the mer that merchant man are already rotten in irons, you needn't rush in with your stabbers or stabbing. I want this job handled quick and quiet and I have the perfect partner to show you how it's done. Alright. <gasps> it's the pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. This here's Vikebe the Stray. Ain't no other rogue that could match her in the art of skulking. A pleasure. Yep. There's a problem, Vikebe? You seem a bit out of, stra of, out of sorts. Bloody starving. I had one of them finger sand sandwiches set aside. You know, those egg filled tasties they make it the big Bismarck. But when I got back from my work, it was bloody gone. Uh oh, that was Vikebis? I thought it was Underfoots. <clears throat> Ahem, well, you just head out on the job and I'll see if I can't turn up that missing sandwich by the time you return. Ah, Yaka. Oh, one more detail you should know. The muskets was meant for the Yellow Jackets armory, so once all is bob, you can hand the goods to one of their coals directly. Okay. Got me, Wiggles. Can you join me, Mr. Wiggles? You, is Nori teaching you the art of the wiggle? Yeah. Teaching you how to be a great wiggler. Figures. Alright, uh, where's Vikebe? There she is. Alright, how can I help you, miss? Let's see. Hi. Hello. I'm gonna look. Is this too close? Am I in your personal space? No? Great. You start whenever you're ready, Shanks. I've had a colleague keeping a waddle out for aught that might help us, so I suggest you have a few words with her first. You find out the hyaline posing as a fishmonger. Okay, bye. 
All right, let's go. Because it's in my eye. It's annoying. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. All right, got to go to the Hyaline. Where the fuck is that? I think it's up in this. Uh, it's up here. Sh yes, it's this one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I should try sitting up straight more often. How oh, Cammy? Cammy is not engaging. He doesn't want to talk to me. <sighs> Alrighty. Going this way. Uh, where is she at? Um, well, there's Pretty Girl, but where is... Hey, 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 hey. What's up? How's it going? The last down there, the one sneaking the fish in the ocean. Go ask her. That does not narrow things down. Go over and ask her where the cat of the day is. Oh, there she is. Alright, thank you. Hi. Hello there, sir. We have carp and trout and lobster and shrimp, but I hear you tell you've been looking for a special breed of, breed of fish. The long, shiny kind with Sparkle put a bloke on his arse. Moray eels? We don't sell that kind here, but you might try them for in markets. What was it called again? Ah, the Traders of Edge. They hail from the South Sea Isles and are known for dealing in all types of nasty spitters and critters. Or spitters and cutters. I should warn you, warn you, uh, these folk ain't ones for questioning the source of their merchandise. In fact, they seem more than happy to pay for goods what came from below deck, so to speak. Excuse me, but if you're still keen to get your hands on those rare fish, then you'd best hurry. The edge merchant, what's visiting Lim, says, looking to load up and leave the city before long. Just how he means to transport his goods remains a mystery, though. What with all the iron blades he's got nursing in his operation, it makes it hard for a girl to get close enough to eyeball the competition it does. I'll be sure to keep an eye peeled for on your behalf, but it might be as you can learn a little more from the folk around town. Bye bye. Um. All right, I talked to her. She said stuff. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Uh, traders of Edge, eh? Well, if one of their merchants been staying in the city, then someone will know something to point us in the right direction. The trick is to listen without being seen. You'd be surprised at how calls will cackle when they think no one else is about. We'll focus on places where see plenty of traffic. You can have the Bismarck, the Ferry Docks, and East Hawker's Alley. I'll try me luck in a few other spots and meet you in front of the guild when I'm done. Remember, keep hidden, keep quiet, and keep your waddles open. Alright, bye. Wait, are waddles ears or eyes? I'm actually not sure. What do you think, Tifa? Tifa doesn't know. Okay. Yawning. Sorry. These knives are very small. If I were a less secure man, I I would want bigger ones, but these will do just fine. Okay, short. Bunny boy just like Squall. Alright, so I have to... I mean, it's gonna tell me to do it, but... Basically, you just push the right button. And then go towards... Diving Dove, of, yes, they're telling you to hide. Okay, at which I already am, so go towards... Diving Dove is grumbling and discontent. Ugh, the sneer on that customer's face. Does he think I can command the skillet to cook more swiftly just to meet his pressing departure schedule? 
I don't know how things are doing in the South Seas, but here in Limsa Lamensa, folk appreciate that fine cuisine cannot be rushed. Come now, Dove, you must not speak ill of the patrons. Now, what was next on my list? Ah, another finger sandwich for the dutiful sisters. Someone there must be rather fond of eggs. Or someone's boss ate, their, ate her lunch, and he's going to get his ass beat for it. That'll be fun. Can't wait for that. All right. I'll teach you, you little warner. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Next. Hawker's Alley. Oh, I just I said I was going to... I said I was gonna try and uh, sit up straight more, and then I just kind of immediately just started to fold over in half like how I usually do. Me gliding. Me slipping, sliding. Animation is for nerds. Me, me, me. Slide. Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, to speaking to a customer. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, you have uh, quite an eye for quality, sir. We have a splendid way to range of produce from every corner of yours here, but one simply cannot visit Limps and Lamenta without sampling some of the local specialties. Would you care for some special, some, some freshly squeezed Lone Ocean orange juice, or perhaps our famed salt cod is most to your, more to your taste? Um, yeah, nothing to do with what I'm after. Cool, alright. Go this way, down to the ferry docks. Um, nope, this way. Oh, I farted, excuse me. My hair looks very shiny because it's wet. Be careful. I still have this fun request over here from somebody. I, uh... I would delete it, but I don't want it to turn out that this is a person that I know. So I'm, I'm just gonna I'll just keep it just for a day or two more. What's up, Ray Renasu? Uh, curse my sense of duty. Why did I had stayed at the wench for that extra pint instead of returning early? I didn't ask to see anyone being bribed, and certainly not my relief pilot. I wonder what that merchant was about. Smuggling? Most likely. Should I report this to the Yellow Jackets? But what if I'm being watched? I could end up face down in the harbor. Hmm. Yes! Yes, you are a kitty! What are you doing? Are you comfy? I'm gonna take a nap. Oh. Welcome back, Shanks. Hope your skulking went well. Yes, I learned some stuff and then I and other stuff. You may be the angel of death with the daggers cold, but in the rogue which shuns the shadows is headed for an early grave. A sneaky cove can nose about without risking a scrap or slip himself into the best position to ambush a mark. Once they've seen you, though, your rum fun is done. Hide in this part concealment and part distraction, and you won't be disappearing on a cove that already knows you're there. Yeah, I, I figured. Alright, I'm done prattling. What, what'd you manage to learn about a musk and buying merchant friend? Um, he was bribing somebody. Slipping coin to a fairy pilot, was he? And by what you heard from that chef at the Bismarck, this trader means to hop the twig in soon. That matches up with my own findings. He's vacated his room at, rooms at the inn and paid his dues in full. Being a merchant, we can be sure that he won't be leaving without his merchandise. So here's the plan. We wait for him to stock his goods on the pier, then you ghost in and grab all them firearms. Okay. I'm hoping we can get the, done the job done quiet and under cover of Darkman's, but it never hurts to be prepared for the worst. It sounds like he got a, he's got a small army of cell swords on the payroll. Okie doke. Ooh, instance time. I'll send word to the Yellow Jackets and have him post a call near Ho Hawker's Alley. That way you won't have to fart a bolt once you've bitten the goods. The mark should be along any moment, Shanks. Have you got any skulking boats on? Sure do. Wee, 
and now we just hide. I like this instance, it's pretty easy. Not much action, but uh, I like ones like this where you just kind of sneak in, grab the thing, and sneak out. Wish there were more instances that I could do that for. You guys can't see me, I'm not here. I'm just a rabbit, Pion Pion. Hmm? You, you're not supposed to be here. I thought I ordered my hirelings to keep this jetty clear. Well, they didn't. Hmm? One, two, three. There's one missing. My crate of muskets is gone! Hehehe. <laughs> Thief! Stop him, you useless sluggards! What am I paying you for? Well, oh, apparently you're paying them to die. Alrighty. And then you turn invisible and then sneak on back out. The Kebe will fight all the bad guys and she's she's stronger than you, so don't worry about it. There are probably portions of this where you don't have to be hidden, but eh, it doesn't matter. You just wander on. I have no idea if you failed the instance of fish spotted. Probably not. Yeah, she's telling me to do what I'm doing, even though I'm halfway there already. So, uh, I'm thinking this game, this uh, this instance is pretty forgiving. And we gotta take it to this uh, this Colin-looking motherfucker. the handoff. Hello sir, I bought you some guns. I hope you don't mind if I fill your titty. Ah, these are stolen muskets. The quartermaster will be pleased. Hooray, I'm glad to hear it. Tammy! Uh oh, he got scared. He got his scared because Daddy said he did him name. All righty. And I'm back to Pretty Lady. And uh, I should probably warn you, I probably should uh, warn you this earlier, but um, it, it's very, very important to bear in mind that there is not a Makoti in this game that I have not flirted with at some point or other. What can I say? I am a... Uh, I am a simp for the cat folk. What's up, man? That turned Harry, didn't it, Colt? Sure did. Once you reach the Yellow Jacket, though, the merchant called off his uh, blades. Rise enough to cut his losses, I'll give him that. I say we're all done here. Let's head inside and tell Yakka the bad news. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna touch you. Heard the sounds of fighting come from outside, now I've whittled the cause of it. I thought we were aiming for a shuttle on this job. Well, it wasn't my fault, I snuck. That many swaths was there, but you got the yellow jackets what they wanted, so all's well that ends well, eh? You're on your way to fast becoming a first class rogue, 
Uh, you're on your way to becoming a first class rogue, Shanks. Uh, the job didn't unfold exactly as planned, but you, do you see the value of keeping out of sight? Skulking might seem slow, but it can save you time, and a fair amount of bleeding, in the long run. Yeah, I've, I know. I've played these kind of games before. Ah, uh, speaking of unexpected developments, I have a bad bit of news for you, Vicky. I searched high and low, but it seems some unprincipled cove has yaffled your sandwich. There are not but crumbs to be found. No, oh, my sandwich. It was a bit more special. Do you know how much I was looking forward to that meal? My belly's about to ready to cave in on itself. Tis a tragedy of the highest order, love, and you know I can't bear to see me rogues in such distress. So I gave uh, Underfoot a special assignment. He should be back any moment now. With a freshly made Bismarck special finger sandwich. You did that for me? You're not japing with me, are you, Yaka? This ain't no japing matter. Tis a guildmaster's responsibility to see that all his coves and morts are at their best for the job. Hi, right, Yaka, there you are. I got the sandwich you ordered. Um, please shut up. And didn't the chit and didn't the chef give me a waffle when I said how we was in a hurry? Maybe next time you could think twice before you yaffle a feather the rogue sup Oh bollocks. <laughs> Yaka, did you eat my supper? <laughs> now now, lass, let's not be hasty. There's a fresh new sandwich right here for you. No harm done, eh? You've cloyed something what belonged to me, Yaka, and I can't ignore the code. <laughs> Hi, the code. We mustn't ignore the code. You're having a laugh, aren't you, lass? Lass? Uh-oh. Hard! <laughs> that might be the swiftest string-up I've ever seen. A punishment to fit the crime. Take a good long look, Shanks. The code exists to preserve peace in Limsa, to keep the alleys from running red with blood. This city's me home, and I'll draw daggers on any cove full enough to threaten that beast. Appointed lesson. Let's head inside, eh? Your sandals to get cold. Hey, do you mean to leave me here all night? At least you gave me a grand view of the harbor. God's pissed these ropes are tight. And now we find ourselves indebted to the Rogues Guild. The Rogues Guild. Humph, <laughs> the impropriety of it all. Would that I could see them occupying a cell next to those thieving pirates. Dun dun dun. Hey, let me in. I see, uh, I see you, you didn't get killed. Ow, the mopes will leave chafe marks for a bleeding week. I may have wriggled myself free, but that's the last time I let my belly do the thinking. And just think, Vikebi shrugged me up over an egg sandwich. Those clothes would well and truly stomp on the code get, get it far worse. Keep up your training, lad, and you'll soon be heading out rogue justice yourself. Sounds like fun. Alright, I already have one of those. Let's see. Um, I think I need... Yeah, let's get the, the gloves. Thank you! Huzzah! Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when we're gonna get back to doing plot stuff. So, uh, where are you? Oh, so until then, bye bye now!